If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be ranting a little bit, kind of going over what we're missing in the game. Um, now, for many of you guys, before we get into this video, I know some of you guys are going to be a little, uh, probably some little hate comments down there, but for the most part, you got to understand, it's not so much about, I understand there's the whole COVID and the whole thing, but they stopped working on Madden 20 back in like, no joke, March. Like, yeah, we got some stuff, but they confirmed Rookie Premier, like Rookie Premier came out in like May, June. Rookie Premier usually come out in July. So the game got pushed a month forward and they pushed content back months. Like they had five months, like, and I'm not asking for anything. I'm not asking for a crazy promo. He flashbacks, heavyweights and veterans are some of the worst things in the game. And that's upsetting because I actually won at this point. It's gotten to a point where we are so behind on stuff. Like, and people might say, you know, it's only been two, three weeks of the game, right? Our official release, it's only been a week and a half. Yes, but the issue is, is that we had all this already. Now, people are going to say, well, we got all those legends. No, no, no. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by the legends drops we got. Legends usually start in the game. All they merely did was drop what should have been in the game half a week later to a week later and claim it as content. So remember that. Last year, all those eight legends started in the game, so don't be fooled by that. And these first legends would have been last week. So we're, we're, we're behind on that. And again, I understand not having like the Halloween promo ready or thanks. I understand all that stuff. Or Team of the Weeks, maybe. I understand everything, but heavyweights and flash. All you gotta do flashbacks is make, make two cards. Make, just make literally make two cards. Now, I may, not, I may not know the software aspect and everything of it, but I do know if they could do it typically in a few days, they could do it in a few months. At least prep it. But more than likely, it was held to start being worked on when the game actually was out because they figured they could rush it out. Now, work from home, remote working, definitely slowing on the process. They don't care. I don't I don't know. Again, guys, before we get into today's video and we go over some of the stuff that we are missing, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, boys, join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, guys. And as always, comment down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. My only issue I'm having right now with everything is that it appears, I hope they're not taking this 2K route where they literally put no effort into the, the current gen game and they focus on next gen. Now, it's gonna be a cross compatible game, but maybe they're working on making it a great, you know, graphics and everything. I understand all that, but it's messed up. We have this game for two, three months beforehand, like, and they, they, they're cross compatible, so, you know, focus on it now. Don't focus on it later, because then the game dies later. Like, you know, whatever. Point is, guys, have some stuff to show you. I'm gonna show you all the content that we're pretty much missing right now, what we should already have in the game, and what should be coming out pretty soon. Hopefully at some point, but guys, if you need coins to pick up any cards, you need anything, you're prepping for the kickoff promo, use go down below to mutreserve.com, use code POODLE for 15% off, guys, they got really good discounts right now, everything is discounted across the store, so make sure you use my code for an extra 15% off, but let's head over to the screenshots and show you everything else. So guys, shout out to the director, if you guys know him, he's another Madden YouTuber, he does great content, probably one of the best edits in the Madden community, he's, he's the director, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory there, um, it's great at what he does, he makes awesome card as you guys did see in the thumbnail, I have one of the Odell's from him, so... Go down below to the link down below, hit on that, subscribe to him, go like a ball's videos, guys. Appreciate him for always letting us use the card art when we need to for thumbnails. The reference point here, heavyweights, we already would have had it. There was 86s, 86s, 87s. Now, based on this year's overalls, I really hope they start with like 87s and 88s because that's what they did last year. They started with 86s, which is kind of dumb. But hopefully they start with like 87, 88s. They'll be perfectly in line with the top cards in the game right now. Left tackles, a, a Tyron Smith, left tackle would be great. A Clay's Campbell would be great. Marshall Yanda, all these guys, Quentin Nelson. Heavyweights, that's the thing about heavyweights, heavyweights are only good early in the year because they're strong, big guys in the trenches. Later in the year, they're not so great anymore, but in the early year, they're actually very, they're very good. So the, the times to use flashbacks, veterans, heavyweights need to be here day one because they're only really useful and important day, the first few weeks, because as we get in flashbacks, quickly get outdated. They're outdated to come out, let alone in the game. Veterans are always outdated and heavyweights are kind of good just for the first few weeks. So they need to really get in their game and get these things out as quickly as possible because at the current point, by the time they release these things, unless they do a big overhaul of these cards, they're going to be useless. They're going to be, they might as well keep them out of the game. But look at all this. I believe we had, I know Marciano was pretty early in the first two weeks. We had Marciano in the month of September. We're in September. Uh, but th that's not including all these other releases we had. All these other releases we had already. Now, again, it was the first week. So at this point, we probably would only have like one or two releases of this. Not saying that's anything crazy. You know, not saying we're, we're too far behind. But the fact that these weren't already out. Like, these are one of the things that we just expect. It should be there. And these were even, I believe, in the month database last year. Like, these were ready for the game release. It, it's just a thing. But here we go. Going on to the, um, these are the flashbacks. These are what I really want in the game. These are cool videos to make to start the year. Cool packs to open up. Come on down. So this is what we started with last year. I think, I believe Shady McCoy was one of, well, 
Marvin Jones Jr., Emmanuel Sanders, Sheldon Richardson, Tony Jefferson, Derrick Henry. Now again, are these cards amazing? No. Andrew Luck was one of the first ones we had. Actually, may have been the first week. Brandon Brooks, Jason McCourty. They're not crazy, but 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 they're they're expected. You know what I mean? Shady McCoy was pretty early on. Card wasn't great, but again, it was still a cool card to at least be in the game. Now, again, these were I think some of these are already preloaded into the first week of Madden. So we would have already had like two, three weeks worth of it already. Now, again, flashbacks. I don't think they should start at 86 overalls. Since they already missed a week or two, they should definitely start at the 88 overalls and work their way up from there because going ahead and starting at 86 will just they will just be a waste. Because that's what they might do, right? They may have been working on it. They're gonna preload it from where they already had it ready. And that's gonna suck because 86s aren't useful. And people are going to say, but you can afford it. No. Why buy these 86s when there's better 86s? Flashbacks typically get watered down stats. So you need the 88s to play like 87s. So if you get an 86, I can play like 85s. I'm telling you guys, unless they overhaul it this year, that, that'd be super awesome for them to do as well. But I can't hold that much hope considering where they're already telling, they, they already been making excuses for them being late. They're already saying they're late. They're behind. This isn't coming out yet. You know, all this stuff. So they already make it. And the, the, there's been nothing. Now, again, many may say it's a lot of work. Maybe. But you're a billion dollar company you can hire one more developer one more developer won't kill you. you you add up just like 50 people's worth of year packs and that covers the developer not including the millions left i'm telling you it could be done but they're focusing either on next gen but then again last year were they focusing on next gen like i really don't know so we're guys if we don't get much in the next two months next gen better be so crazy that i want to buy two copies just to look at them all day like they better be that good and then we got the veterans now veterans are not my favorite in the slightest like these are probably the worst ones to me i really don't like them i believe these even started at 84 overalls these are the worst ones by far i don't enjoy them i call it the slow promo but it's still cool it's weekly thing because that keeps us on the game right like that's what i understand people don't play the game when there's nothing on the game so like flashbacks about today you guys will hop on to come look at them you don't like them but now you're on the game i'm gonna play some madden oh i like this play a little bit longer but if, if a week goes by and there's no content people might not even hop on so yeah there's nothing out yet i'll, I'll just wait i'm on the mood this gets you on regardless like yeah these cards weren't great but again they're cards they're, they're things to do you can even re-roll there was re-roll training stuff there was stuff to use for training there was like there was stuff in the store for training there's enough to still do and then the next thing coming pretty soon would have been the signature series which is really i actually like signature series but of course because of the state i think these might be pushed back and now i'm getting fears for kickoff see my thought process was okay he's gonna wait for the first official week right like this week like, like the first monday following last week like they're gonna go for this monday We'll get heavyweights. I mean, we'll get flashbacks. We'll get heavyweights. We'll get veterans. Then we'll get the kickoff promo, and the season will start, and it'll be awesome. Monday's in the past today with nothing. Nothing regarding Tuesday, so that makes me fearful for Tuesday. Now, we'll all be forgiven if the kickoff's Wednesday. Kinda. But, again, that's not guaranteed. And then even worse, does that mean kickoff's getting pushed back until flashbacks come out? Because if that's, if that's the schedule they're on. But, Zinger Series, I would love to see that pretty early. And it started at 90s. Now, that wouldn't have been out yet. That would have came out, like, a week or two from now. So there's still time, but again, heavyweights and flashbacks aren't yet, and kickoffs not yet. I can't, I can't imagine them pushing this out until that, unless they just do one big bang or week of everything. That'd be cool, but again, we can never, no promises with EA, right? We, we don't know, we don't know. And signature series, obviously, you guys know what this is. It was like every Friday, it would just be a, a some, it would, they drop two limited time cards, one on offense, one on defense. From it was like, it was like a pattern they were doing like by division or something like that. I mean, we picked up on that pretty early. And they went up all the way to, I believe, 95 overalls, and so they canceled out around whatever. I do know that it lasted for quite a while. We got this every Friday. It's just like, nothing's better than weekly content. You may hate the players. They may suck. It may, they, may, they may be late on it, but it's always there. And that's what we like. That's the consistency we need. Because if we have heavyweights, veterans, flashbacks, and um, heavyweights, flashbacks, veterans, and a signature series weekly, that's four days covered. We got Legend Saturday. We got Legend Friday pre-release. And then you throw in a quick seasonal promo or house rules. And look, bang, we're good for the week. And then the occasional other stuff like a Sunday LTD, a surprise thing, surprise packs, surprise solos, maybe a little code breaker, plenty of stuff. But guys, pretty much it for the video. I ranted enough. Hopefully you guys take this. I mean, comment down below what you guys think. What's your thought process behind everything? Like I said, are they focusing on next gen? Maybe, but that's still, I, I never I never believe in that because when it comes to focusing on next gen, everyone has current gen. So you pretty much sold the game at full price knowing you were just going to copy and paste it word for word and go ahead and just let us rock with the same Madden 20 on Soul. So you shouldn't charge us for that. Now, the one thing I'll give them is they are bringing us through with the same price. They're letting us transfer through. But I think that's about the top edition size. So that's messed up too. Now with 2K, they're, they're entirely worse. They're not even bringing everything over. You get two you get two months of the same game, and then you have to buy a new game. So that, that's different. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue in terms of who's greedier in that sense. But at least Madden transfers things over. But still, come on. At least give us a lower price or something. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, and join the family. 
Give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm out. Peace.